Hi, my name's Stuart Quinney. Um, you may or may not have seen this series or been following it uh, about my issues I've had with Indian Motorcycles or Polaris Britain Limited. Um, yeah, a little, little bit of an update. The previous one was basically about the MCIA who were the industry body for um, motorcycles for the UK who basically say they hold their members to high standard so that um, the, the customer can have a peace of mind which is complete rubbish they they i think they've basically set the system up so these people can pay their money each year this this group can then pretend that they're holding people to high regard and when it actually comes down to it they don't um so i thought i'll give you a little bit of an update um, especially in regards to Polaris Britain Limited um, and the information I was trying to get off them through the ICO under a subject access requests which is basically um, all to do with GDPR, GDPR the date protection so they're supposed to supply me any documentations they have in my name or the motorcycle registrations as I've said in previous videos, I issued a subject access request on them July 23. Um, they ignored it, didn't want to um, pass the information on, sent me a sheet which contained next to nothing on it and I had to take it to the ICO Commission's office who regulate this. <coughs> I finally had uh, a reply from them who agree with me that Polaris have not provided me the information I required um, on several bases. They need to provide me the information surrounding the complete mess with the UK 700 which was an event Indian was supposed to be sponsoring but that's for another video. Um, they also agree that I should be supplied all the details and communications it, uh, from the dealer to Polaris in in respect of how they justify I misuse a motorcycle when the dealer is the person responsible for looking after it after all it's in every 5,000 5, miles for service they have the ability then to tell you if you're doing anything wrong if you have no um, feedback at all whilst doing that then what what are you supposed to think the bikes were always kept clean i used to enter them into um bike shows because they 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 both had custom paint i'm told i misuse them when i spend over eleven thousand pounds in three years on one bike with the dealership trying to keep it on the road so yeah so I'm now waiting for Polaris, they've got I think till the end of August to supply me the info that has been requested four or five times now and then hopefully once they do provide it I expect it will be heavily redacted even if they bother to provide it um, it will then give me the decision on the basis of the legal action I can take going forward and then we've got the issue with Close Brothers that one's still going round and round backs and forwards it's absolutely ridiculous so I'm in a situation where you got a cash price on a bike of about 24,000 pounds 
I've paid them back over 26 and a half, I think nearly 27,000 pounds. So due to the um, health issue I had back in August, I've not been able to work. Um, I'm still in recovery. Some days are good, some days are bad. Gets to a point where I do, do a certain amount in a day and I'm pretty useless. No, no one didn't employ me to do that, that's for sure. Um, but it's, yeah, it's quite difficult at the minute and this is all caused from the stress of trying to sort this situation out. I mean, it's been going since October 21. I did issue a subject access request on Close Brothers to get, give me information that took them three months. Finally got it and they've produced a letter that I'd never seen going back to April last year. I put a formal complaint in with them, I think 13th of April stating the issues I had with the dealer and stating the issues I had with Polaris. Obviously the dealer damaged the bike, couldn't repair it, couldn't service it correctly and then you had Polaris Britain Limited basically saying it weren't fit for purpose for this country. So then they produced me a letter they're supposed to have written to me on the 17th of April, the same month. It's a close brothers make a comparison or make a statement saying that they do not have a relationship with the manufacturing dealer. So <laughs> that's a completely false statement because the manufacturing dealer is Thor Motorcycles. Thor Motorcycles is the company that they work with that gave me the finance in the first place. Of course they've got a, uh, a working relationship with the manufacturing dealer. So that's complete rubbish. So they're trying to um, side uh, sidestep this situation by saying they do not deal with Polaris. It's fair enough. But when it comes to Polaris saying that the item's not fit for purpose, then they should. So initially, yes, they should deal with Thor motorcycles, which they didn't. So again, more complaint letters, more forms have been filed um, to Close Brothers now to come back to me on that. Um, that's also which the financial ombudsman um, who's been given all the details who I did get a reply from the other day saying was there a um, reasonable reason why I hadn't gone back to um, Close Brothers since my initial complaint of 13th of April. So I went back to them and said well yeah for one I didn't get their reply I didn't know they hadn't uh, they closed, closed the case two days later um, because two of those days are actually the weekend so I issued the complaint on the Thursday they replied on the Monday so it might even only been a day and a half that they looked at this they didn't contact the manufacturing dealership and they basically said they wouldn't contact Polaris so that was the conclusion of their investigation which <laughs> it is an absolute uh, ridiculous situation to think if I had re received that communication that I wouldn't have got back to them and uh, <laughs> took it further so yeah so that that's been put to the financial ombudsman as well now for them to add to the case so yeah I mean it's just completely ridiculous the whole the whole situation but there you go so that's a, um, a, a small update. Hopefully, um, Polaris will produce me something as they've been requested to. I'd imagine they will be in a situation of um, having to enter into compensation degree if they don't issue this information in August. And if the information isn't as requested um, by the ICO. But who knows? Probably be me that's wrong again. Anyway, that's a quick update. Cheers.